Hello YouTube. Okay, this video we're going to install the barrel to the upper receiver. Tools you'll need. Of course, you're going to have to have a vise. Uh, you're going to have some means to clamp your upper assembly into the vise. And you got to have some kind of blocking system. Uh, they make a rod. I think uh, Gasly makes a reaction rod and all that. They're very expensive. Um, this is a, you know, a very inexpensive block I got. I think I paid like 18 bucks for the three-piece set. So, come with this. So, fairly inexpensive there. So, you're going to have to have a vise, uh, some means to clamp your upper end. You're going to need an armorer's tool or wrench. And you're going to need a torque wrench. Got to have a torque wrench. All right. And of course, to install the barrel, you're going to have to already have your uh, your barrel nut. If you order a free float tube, quad rail, anything like that that's free floating, it will come with a barrel nut most of the time. Most of them do. This one did. So that's what we're going to use. Uh, now, if you were going to a standard, you know, A2 or something like that, you'd use a delta ring and all that cool stuff. So we're not doing that. We're, we're going the uh, free float route. All right, and uh, the last thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need some anti-seize uh, grease or some type of grease. I use anti-seize grease. Uh, you can use AeroShell. A lot of people invest in that, but you know, I use this on my cars and everything, so it gets, it gets used on equipment, you know, not just guns. So I'm not spending that much money just on a little small thing of AeroShell. All right, here we go. So first thing first, always make sure you clean the inside you gotta have the inside because the barrels going in there and then if you've got a new barrel just take your protective covering off and make sure this parts clean too so this barrels already really been cleaned so I'm not too terribly concerned about it now when this gets installed you'll have a a little pin sticking up. That's a locator pin. That's that shows you where to locate it to go straight in. Always inspect your barrels prior to installation. Once you buy them, your locator pin should be directly in line with your gas port right there. If it's not, you've got a bad barrel. Okay, you're gonna have problems because it's not gonna line up. You're gonna be customizing a gas tube or or whatever. So make sure you get a quality barrel. Uh, they're expensive. You can get some, you know, fairly decent deals, but you want to you want to spend money on the barrel. All right, here we go. So take a little bit of grease or anti-seize, and let's coat around that that barrel. It's anti-seize haven't been used in a while. It's kind of separating on me. This is kind of scary. In there and get some, get some on the brush here. You don't need a whole lot. I've already had, I already have some on the barrel nut, so so we'll just take a little bit and just kind of dab it around just like that. Doesn't need a whole lot. That's probably more than what we need. Okay. And then I normally just take my finger and just wipe it around, get a good even coating on that. And if you do, if you decide to go up, not use barrel grease, if you go to swap out the barrel, you're gonna you're gonna run into some problems, buddy. Let me tell you, it's not gonna be fun. So I probably put a little bit too much on there, but that'll be all right. Just wipe that off. because it doesn't take a whole lot. All right, then we want to install our barrel. Okay, zoom in a little bit. And then all we're doing here is we're just kind of, just kind of giving it a slight twist, pushing in, applying a little force. Until we get right there to the very end and then we're gonna push in. All right, from here, you're gonna have a little bit of grease come off. We're just going to run our finger around that 
but we can hit those threads with it. No big deal. Now, if you're a little uh, anal about stuff, this is probably gonna freak your out, freak you out, because you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get that grease all over that receiver. So, and it's not the easiest stuff to clean off. So, don't sweat it. Hey, it's a rifle. That's all it is. Okay, now that we got that on there, we're gonna install our barrel nut. Make sure the barrel's flush. You can take a rubber mallet and kind of tap it a little bit. Oh, I was about to say, what in the world? Back out on this, that little pin, retaining pin. That block is kind of in the way. Just pop that out. Now, a lot of folks will pre-tighten this, kind of uh, pre-set those threads, and we can do that. Um, I don't have a problem with it. So this is where your, your armorer's tool is going to come in handy, these three notches here. That's what we're going to line up right in there. So you can see those, those holes there, these three notches, they line right up in there. So get them in there straight and make sure you're flush. So when this comes in contact, it's flush. Now this is an El Cheapo wrench. I've had this for probably five or six years. I think it's one of those NC stars and a tip's already broke on it. So luckily these tips are here. Hopefully it won't fail today. Okay. All right, so we'll just make sure it's flush in there. Give it a little turn. That's good and tight right there. All right, then we're gonna back off. hand tight all right depending on your manufacturer your barrel nut check their torque rating specs mine is going to be different from yours so I'm not even going to give you mine but generally they start out at about 40 45 pounds and they'll work their way up but make sure you're using the correct one all right I've already got mine set and how this works is you still use the armorer's wrench but your torque wrench is gonna fit right in this square right here. So it's gonna go right in there. You'll mount the torque wrench and then you're gonna to pull till you hear the click. This is, this is a click style. So when I say click style on this torque wrench, that means when it hits those foot pounds or Newton, if you're in Europe, when it hits those foot pounds, it's gonna click and kind of give a little bit. That means that we've hit our target torque. They have a bar, uh, torque wrench where it uses a bar and it's kind of a, a, a needle bar and it points. Those will work too, but I'm not that coordinated to watch both of it and turn it. So I got the click one and I use this to work on my vehicles too. So, all right, so we'll just slide that on there. Take our torque wrench. Get it positioned come up a little bit so we can get a little get a little leverage on it. Now you want to hold this flush. Oh, okay. That's our initial. Okay. So now I'm going to turn up to my actual setting. So this is my setting here. So I've actually dropped down from my original setting by 10 foot pounds. Okay. So we're on our torque spec. Now, they give you a range. Every barrel manufacturer or barrel nut manufacturer will give you a range to go in. And the reason why is most of the time you have to line this up. So we have to make sure that these holes here 
or a line so our, our piston or if you're using a gas system our gas tube will go through and meet inside the receiver so that's very important so we're just going to test this and how I test it is I just take my what well, you know my gas tube or whatever and I will just slide it in the hole make sure I'm on the right side <laughs> go through and you can take your flashlight and look to the side so I'm gonna have to go probably another eighth of a turn so here you can use your torque wrench or you can just use the wrench itself and just watch where you're positioning at I'm gonna use a ratchet here Maybe that'll give me a little bit more leverage. It's not breaker bar time. This will allow me a little bit more leverage. And I'll zoom out so you can see it. So you see, based on the breaker bar, I'd be pushing right here. But with the breaker bar, I'm pushing out here, so it allows me a little bit more leverage. There we go. Let's pop it off. Check it out. See how far we moved. Moved a little bit. Okay. Go a wee bit more. Okay. Make sure you're good and square and flush. There we go. Now what you don't want to do is go over. I think I need to go a hair more. Just a hair. Okay. Okay. There we go. All right, we're lined up now. Okay, good. You kind of look down through there. Oh yeah, we're dead on. Okay. So now, that's that's an install. So we've installed that barrel. It is on there. It's good to go. Um, all we're waiting on now is drill bit to dimple this barrel so we can install the gas block. So I almost got a little afraid there. I thought, man, maybe this barrel nut's bent or broke. But I was just a hair off and our, uh, our piston was not going through there. I, I noticed it was in a little bind, but it's okay. It's going to work. So, all right. So that's it for the, uh, the barrel install. That's how to install a barrel nut. Uh, it's fairly simple. You're just going to have to have the great tools. You know, get you some means to hold that upper receiver. You've got it, well, you don't have to, but it's preferred to have some anti-seize 
you know, you've seen how easy it was to remove this barrel nut off that last barrel. And torque wrench is a must. Follow the manufacturer's instructions on it. Make sure you're uh, you're getting it on there. So, you know, we're not ready for this, but you can. We could go ahead and kind of look at it. Oh, hold on. No. These threads are super fine, so make sure you're getting them on there, right? I don't want to strip them. down kind of get an idea how it's gonna look at least the only thing I'm not too excited about is my gas block is going to be a little bit exposed. Well, it's going to be a lot exposed, really. Can you see that? Oh, we're still in a... Uh, sorry. So that's what she looks like right now. Of course, our gas block is going to be way out here. So it's going to be exposed. But fortunately, the piston is going to be driving out of this. So we won't, we won't be touching the piston, but we will have some heat coming off this barrel. So I have to be very careful. I just... I needed this to where I could adjust it. So that's going to rest right there. So we're getting close, guys. A few more parts. Drill bit. We'll be on our way. All right. So that's installing a, a barrel nut. So technically, we haven't installed the guard yet, but that's just showing you what it's going to look like. All right, guys. Like it. Subscribe. See you, man.